you know, I'm not usually one to torment or taunt animals, but I really pissed off that uh, group of crows back there. I believe a group of crows is called a murder of crows. Speaking of murder, or not, this is a haunted bridge. And I'm up here looking for Suzumi watching the Asian giant hornet. And I found myself close to this bridge. I've documented this bridge a couple of times in the past, including a night hike here with my daughter. But I thought I'm close. Might as well uh, revisit it. A lot of uh, people riding motorcycles and drifting and stuff like that. See this guy. Hey, buddy. Dangerous place. They say it's a haunted bridge. Here's how the story goes. Uh, there's, there's a closed trail. One more. They used to go up here. They keep trying to reopen it, but it never succeeds. And uh, it connects this part of the mountains up here. And uh, the trail used to cross the road right here. And a long time ago, a uh, little young girl allegedly was killed. And I have, I'm speaking flippantly because I have my doubts that the story is true. It sounds kind of like an urban legend type of a thing. If it is, I, I apologize for any undue, un, undue disrespect. Any undue, any not sounding sincere enough. Maybe I should be. In just in case, I will be. So apparently a woman, a young girl was killed here crossing the road by these cars. So her father, in uh, such despair, took the family's last bit of fortune and uh, built this bridge on his, on his own expense to protect kids from uh, further danger. It used to be a trail that children would walk on, uh, on school outings and the like. They built this bridge, which is really a bridge, a bridge of naught. There's those crows again. Come on, about check me out. Hey, you're still mad at me, aren't you? <laughs> you're really mad. So apparently, so um, the thing is that he built this, but nobody uses it because the trail is basically uh, an abandoned trail. Nobody comes here. So the bridge lays, stands here. But people say that they pass by on the road here, say that they see, and I've told this story before. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I'm here. What the heck? I'll tell it again. They say that they see a young girl standing on this bridge looking down at them as they go by. That's the story. Bridge is haunted by the ghost of a little girl. My daughter and I came here a long time ago at night. Whoa, I'm almost all over. We made a video up here. It's kind of spooky. I'll link it below or at the end. The trail continues up there a little bit. But like I said, uh, Totally used. Okay, I'm going to tell you something now. Go ahead, just walk with me a little bit. Since you've indulged me this far, I'll tell you a secret. Wipe that smile off your face, Kurt. Someone's been in here. Good the woods a little. Usually this is nearly impossible. Like I said, civic groups sometimes get it in their mind to open this trail and they'll come through and clear it. But it won't really last. And eventually it'll be over the again. I think it's because the the vibe and the feel and the history of this place makes it so people don't want to come here.
to watch out for hornets. But I think creature just flew away off that tree. What is it about this place? What's the secret? Mm. Well, you know I'm hesitant to even talk about it. It just doesn't seem right. But I'll just tell you and leave it at that. And I'll turn the camera off and leave it at that. Have you ever heard of uh, Aokigahara? The sea of uh, trees near Mount Fuji? I never talk about it, I rarely talk about it unless it comes up to them capacity. It's a famous forest for many reasons, historically, for a long time. It's had a lot of history there. Famous for its weird geology and uh, landscape and natural topography. Sea of trees very really tangled, kind of like this back here. But people who are interested in Japan probably know it best is the place where uh, Japanese people most very commonly go to end their lives. It's not far from here, about 45 minutes or so. But the sad thing is that sometimes people in the community where I live don't have the resources or the time or the energy or the inclination to travel that far. To uh, maybe they come here to this little woods. I'm only aware of two confirmed cases of uh, people committing suicide in this woods. But if I talk to if I talk to local Japanese people, buzzing getting buzzed, they'll tell me that uh, do not come here. I tell people I I'm hiking up here and you say, don't, don't go up here, don't go up there. It's not the place to go. And uh, I say, they tell me, go somewhere else. Oh, let's leave it at that. So here I am, and I've never seen another soul here. Although people too try to uh, make egress in the trail that we saw. Make it sound like which way they should be overgrown. Somewhere else in a couple of years we'll try again and that'll be that. I don't know, eventually they'll give up, I guess. I'm just forced to just go back to being what it is, forced with a bit of a history. A bridge with a, an aura and some story, story of its own. I'll leave it at that. Take care, everybody. I'm sorry if I made you feel uncomfortable. Don't have intent. I don't like to sensationalize or things like that. Just sometimes there's a story and uh, sometimes the opportunities there to share. Take care of my sign off for now. Bye-bye.